With that deep freeze, you can imagine all the shelters in Lynn County are gearing up for more people this week. But one shelter says something is missing in the community. CBS 2 News reporter Marissa Scott joins me to share what that is, Marissa. And I have to admit, this completely floored me. It surprised me, too. I mean, I didn't know this until I started talking to the shelters. But whenever CBS 2 covers a story about shelters, we typically focus on homeless men. Well, that's because there's a higher percentage of men sleeping on the streets. However, there is a rising population of homeless women in Lynn County who also need some help. Last year, we served almost 260 altogether, and I know when I served six years ago, it was only 90. So we are definitely serving way more women today. This two-story yellow house looks small in size, but inside, it's full of love and provides a place to sleep for more than 20 women. We are an emergency shelter. It's a place where women can come to seek shelter, whether they are single, married, or have kids. They can come here if they're married, but they cannot come here as an unmarried couple. But she says there isn't an all-woman emergency shelter, something she feels the community needs. We could definitely use some more space for single women or women with families. I think that with Cedar House closing too, that kind of hurt a little bit. They were able to house a few women there. However, Waypoint knows there are places for women to go. There are two shelters that serve women in the communities. To snag one of the 40 beds at the Madge Phillips Center, women have to go through an application process, which could take up to two days. But Shelter Services is focusing on getting anyone, male or female, off the streets. But the ultimate goal is to get everyone in housing within the community because truly the solution to homelessness is housing. We do know that each shelter serves a different population within the community. Some only serve men, some serve families, um, and then some serve a combination of families and single women. At the Catholic Worker House, single women can stay for 60 days where families are allowed to sleep there for a month. Green Square Meals is another place where both men and women can go to sleep when temps get below 15 degrees. That is so interesting. Thanks so much, Marissa. Here's a reality check for you, too. Just last month, HACAP finished counting how many individuals are sleeping on the streets here. They found 43 individuals sleeping on the streets or in their cars. Six of those are women two who are living in abandoned buildings, and one lives in the woods. There are five emergency shelters in Lynn County that provide a warm place on cold nights, and one of those is the willis Dady Emergency Center that not only shelters both men and families, but also helps them get back on their feet again. Overnight shelter is not the answer to homelessness. Homes are the answer to homelessness. We're a program to help people avoid homelessness whenever possible, and if they do become homeless to be homeless for as short a time as possible. About 40 percent of our resources are now put toward prevention and we're a program of which shelter is, a, is one possible benefit of that. We're not really here to help people just on a kind of night-to-night -night basis. Homeless men and women are encouraged to call shelter services who will place them in the correct shelter.